Hi, this is Ed from the Whiskey Tangent Podcast. I'm here with another Whiskey Short with Scott. Hey, everybody. And we are having the episode of episodes, the short of shorts, the ultimate moment in my drinking experience in my own mind. So we'll see if it fulfills it. And we have some friends who have made this day possible. We have Joey. Hello, everybody. And Doug. Howdy, y'all. And we're going to flip it to Scott. He's going to tell you what expressions we are going to savor today. And uh, Scott, please enlighten us. What are we doing today? Uh, Yeah, so a few months ago, we did a short on Blanton's itself. And through that research, we discovered that there are a lot of expressions that we can't have. They're only in Japan. Yeah. And today, uh, courtesy of Joey, we have four expressions. So (laughs) in total, we're drinking five. So we're going to drink the Blanton's single barrel first, just the regular expression that you can get if you can find it in America. Right. Uh, And then we have the Takara Black, the Takara Red, the Takara Gold, and the Blanton Straight from the Barrel. <laughs> Whiskey short. <laughs> and oh I'll tell you a little bit more about the proofing and what they are and the aging uh, as we taste them. The first one we're going to taste is just the Blanton Single Barrel. Yeah. Blanton's number one. Uh. Um, And then I will ask Joey where the fuck he got these from. Yeah, right. (laughs) Who did you have to bribe, murder, or kill to get these into into your house? So So, let's all take a sip of the first. This is American Blanton's. I can't even get this one, let alone the other four. Right. You got to bribe someone to get this for under $100. I mean, it's just delicious, right? It really is. Uh, It's a little spicy. spicy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're all a little different. This is the 93 proof and aged a minimum of six years. Mm -hmm. Just that's the base. The others are variations on this theme. I usually like a little bit of distilled water in this to open up, but just as it is now, it's just really spectacular. Definitely vanilla on the nose, Uh as always. This one tastes a little bit higher proof than the Normal. 93. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it does that sometimes. Yeah, I'm done mine. But anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I'll second that. <laughs> hey, hurry up, bitches. Is that- <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't have to rush. Uh, no, he's a fast drinker. I'm a slow drinker. So <laughs> yeah, I, can't no, help I will it. always have more in my glass. So Ed, Ed, how did you like to straight out of the barrel since we're drinking faster? But. I haven't got to there yet, but I, I'm waiting for the, I'm waiting for permission to drink the uh, the rare expressions. Yeah. But Ed drinks the way that this guy over here, Doug, eats pizza. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he had pizza earlier and he ate it this entire and i'm done with you brother yeah man there you go he was making like pizza sandwiches with the slices it was very (laughs) impressive to watch we should just preface it that we've met joey and doug at the whiskey lounge where where we have a locker they're locker members like we are that we've talked about the lounge a lot and this is what we talk about like the kinsmanship of the whiskey drinkers and the fraternity that we have and just everybody wants to share and just help somebody experience what they've enjoyed it's such a great group of people down there and we're so glad they would come on today and basically joey was like hey guys come over my house and and you can try the expression of like oh or <laughs> come over and let's record the experience because it's going to be epic and one of a kind. Yeah, and that's what we're doing. Definitely. They're, so, just, they're just trying to stay out of my sex dungeon. Oh, damn. <laughs> right. Right. Wait a Spot- minute. You have a sex dungeon? <laughs> Wait. Oh, I, I'm rethinking this whole he thing. He calls now. Doug Spider. We call us another fly. There you go. <laughs> So, Joey, tell us how you came to get these wonderful expressions. Yeah, was it all one time or separate? How do you do it? Yeah, so my wife actually saw that, that they were going to be releasing Blanton's straight from the barrel into the States and okay. sent me an article on it. And I Googled it and I started doing some looking and found a company out of New York, Saratoga Wine Traders, that had a number of bottles. So what I did was um, I spent $1,400. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. That's why we're friends. Uh, <laughs> but my, oh, my wife was looking at shit. me like I had two heads. But uh, yeah, so we, we did uh, four different expressions. And Doug has introduced me to Ed at the local and uh, told him that we had these expressions. And, you know, I wanted to share them with him like right. I was saying, you know, uh, yeah. bourbon and whiskey guys just kind of have a camaraderie. Yeah, true. sure. Absolutely. Yeah, and I shared my my $55 bottle of Willet Rye with him. So, of course, <laughs> he would just give it's me a $1,000 of whiskey yeah. to try. The same, $1,455, you know. I got Evan Williams in mind. I keep it cheap and I just drink off everyone yeah. else's. And listen, I said, Great. he can have my Jim Beam white label anytime yeah. that he wants. Exactly. But listen, Joey, do you remember what you spent for each one? Because I think that would be something people would be interested in. Yeah, so it was between $279 and $350 per bottle. Okay. Yeah. And, um, okay. Plus, so pretty know, similar rate. across the line. Yeah. yeah. You know, I, I enjoy spending money on my kids, my family. Family, you know, watching their faces glow. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> oh my are, god, are, are we glowing? Like <laughs> I feel like we're glowing. Like, Blanton number two. All right, so I think it's perfect that we're going to start with the black yeah. of the Takara. Takara, which is um, yeah, it's eighty proof, but aged two years longer than the regular single barrel. If you guys Super still have smooth. your empty glass of the vintage Blantons, put the nose in and then try the yeah, nose okay, in. it's so oh. different. Mm. 
Right. So this one's not as spicy as the as the regular. No, it's very good though. Yeah, it's very good. I taste more cherries. What would you compare to like a basil Hayden, which is probably the best eighty mm-hmm. proof when I think of eighty proof expressions? I mean, this is better than basil yeah. Hayden though, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. The yeah, finish this is, is just spectacular. Yeah, this is quite good. Super um, smooth. Really. Took it all day. Yeah. I've done mine. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> I can't help it. It's just I keep tasting it and before I know it. it's gone. It's in only- your in your defense though, we did just pour a shot. Yeah. 0.75, right? Yeah. No, it's a, it, oh, oh, no, ounce? you're right. Yeah, it's 0.75. It's yeah. a half an ounce. Yeah. A half a shot. Sorry. Half a shot. Yeah. So we were trying. The second to... taste had a little spice to it. A little yeah, bit yeah. Of, so you're yeah. A little hair. Right. If you take a little bit more. Yeah. yeah. A little vanilla in there. Mm-hmm. I mean, the, this one and the one previous to it are just perfect expressions of what a bourbon should be. A little just toasted. Per- a little toasty. A little yeah. coffee, maybe? A little. Ooh, a little coffee. It's coffee the original with the red. Coffee. 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 I get the toffee, maybe? Does it matter? (laughs) I got to stay your friend, so whatever the fuck you say is good. (laughs) (laughs) Whatever Joey says. Plan number three. I'm no surprise to Scott. I poured myself some more of the original. Oh, did you? Because oh. I want to taste it against the red and feel free to do the same. Okay. Which is the same proof age two years. And I want to do that side by side. And Joey claims that it's a little bit, not a little bit, it's a completely different flavor profile. So I can't wait to do that. Yeah, it's really night and day. Night and day. So yeah, Scott, take another splash of the original because I think that this is where it's most relevant against the red. And you could see the difference in the color. Yeah, you can see well. the color. Yeah. The nose on this is unbelievable. Spicy. Mm. Holy cow. What a difference. How is that possibly the same mash bill? I can't even believe it. Well, That's remember, true. these are single barrels, right? So no, there's right. going to be some variation exactly. between them. But you're right. I would think this is a 100 plus proof drink. Yeah, right. Absolutely. Don't you feel like it's more um, alcohol forward, oh, Joey? Yeah, absolutely. It's spicy. It's pungent. Wow. And I would also think it was aged longer. Yeah, two years longer. Two, I think two it's years, even. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just so oh, wow. Yeah, open yeah. It's, and it's deeper. Deeper. Yeah. That's a great, definitely. great. Yeah. Great, uh, it almost has the same um, mouthfeel as a cast strength. It's got that thick, oily on the tongue. Mm-hmm. No yeah. doubt. All right, so what what do you think about the comparison between the regular Blanton Single Barrel and the Takara Red? The Red's much better. Yeah. No, it's okay. much better. The Red is more complex. It has more flavors. It has more of an alcohol presence, even though they're the steam proof. Mm-hmm. I, I Still going back to mm. the Single Barrel that we had, it's so spicy. Spicy. Yeah, definitely. God, this barrel is so you spicy. Mean the original bottle that I brought. The original, original bottle, bottle that you bought, right. yeah. Wow. Where the red doesn't have that spiciness to it. Got a little heat to it. Yeah. The red. Right. Yeah. The, you can feel that proof right. differences. It, Definitely. But it's spectacular finish. Yeah. We're splitting hairs between these three yeah. because, uh, I mean, they're all delicious. As well, as well, I would go with mine because it was 61 <laughs> and not 275. Yeah. But no the reality is, is it a better product? Yes, it was. The yeah. red is extraordinary and worth bringing over Yo. and enjoying oh, because, yeah. we, like I said, we talked yeah. about this last spring and I. Never thought I would drink it. And so to be here drinking it, it's great. I'm ecstatic right now. It's amazing. Blend number four. Takara Gold. So this is proofed higher, 103, and also, again, aged two years longer. Is this two years older than the gold that's been released this year in America? I believe so. So how long is this? Eight? Yes. I believe the gold that's being released in America, of course, you can't get either, is, <laughs> is six years. All right. So I will say to the people listening, the horse on top is completely gold. More so, collectibles. And Well, now I got to get all the gold horses. Right. right. I don't get a lot of the nose compared to the other ones. It's fu- really funny. It kind of has a nose of a, of a floral rye oh, yeah. almost. It's got that weird. Wow. Um, it, yes. It's completely different. Yeah. I just sipped it. It's completely different than the other ones. It's so different. Oh my god! It's got that almost vinyly, clovey nose, velvety. It's yeah. got a it velvet finish on your on tongue. It's just tongue unbelievable. Though. Yeah, I, I, this tastes like a rye to me. Good. I love this so much. This is fantastic. It's it, the finish it sits on that there is for a while. Wow. Spectacular. I, I, a coffee, vanilla, maybe a little star anise. It's in there. completely different. Holy cow! Fantastic. Cheers to everybody. This mm. is a delicious fucking delicious. whiskey. All these are made in America. They're all made here. All made right. All and, made here and shipped back over. So you had to pay for it and ship it over there and ship it back. Yeah. <laughs> That's why it was fourteen hundred dollars. <laughs> Those bastards. Blanton's number five. Yeah. The last expression that we oh, have, which what? is the Blanton straight from the barrel. This is by far the best bourbon I've ever had. Wow. Anyway. It's X-rated. I mean, Joey had me over his house when he first got it. In his sex dungeon. In oh, his yeah. sex dungeon. <laughs> That's why it's X-rated. I don't know what the fuck happened afterwards. I walked <laughs> funny for a week. But he was, I mean, he, you know, he poured all of them. And when we drank this last one, it was just spectacular. Oh, man, I can't I mean, wait. It's, it's just incredible. So the one we have is 128.2. Yes, so Which actually, we had video not- for the color. The color, the is, color is the best of all. Gosh, it's yeah. dark amber. Dark, dark amber. Let's take our time with this. What's our nose profile? Yeah. 
I'm getting sort of an herbaceous quality, like a uh, like leaves and flowers and stuff. It's weird. I got a little spicy note in there, like <laughs> ash, like a little. It's, oh, I mean, I'll be perfectly honest. You get a little bit of gasoline in that too. So. Oh wow, wow, that's yeah. interesting. Petrol to it. It's so. Can you tell I took a sip. There's that. There's a kick. The finish is definitely. I was smelling a little ashy. I took the smallest sip. Great, little smoky ash to that finish is just great. The sip you take, I think that you actually yeah open up the aromatics in that. It kind of you breathe it in. When I thought about drinking bourbon when I was younger, this is what I thought bourbon would taste like yeah. right and and then i was let down the first time i yeah. drank Jim Bean. I, oh I drank jack and cokes and jim and gingers like i didn't know what i was doing so yeah like i know what you mean like this would have blown me away when i was in my 30s i couldn't oh, have yeah. handled this this is no because the first bourbon that i had was old granddad and i was like why does anybody fucking drink bourbon because right. it's right fucking terrible Brutal. and it's still terrible to this Brutal. day but if i had had this I, I would have been a devotee in my 20s. Yeah, it right. took to my 40s to you get just, to this you, point. You, you I think that's a great point because it, it, right, it's like anything. Like when you were younger, you took shots at Jack Daniels. Yeah, I just right. get it over with. I don't, yep. you know, I want to get fucked up. Yep. Now you know you drink a Sinatra Jack. It's right. nice. Right. It's it's a nice I like the single barrel Jack. I'm not going to lie. Single barrel Jack's good. Um, yeah. This has been my greatest <laughs> whiskey day ever. I don't think there's a winner or a loser. There's no loser. No. That's, that's no, what no. makes this great. And I want to thank Joey for bringing them out. Thank you so much, man. And if hey, you man, ever get a chance to drink the cast strength or the gold. Anything. Anything that, that we had tonight, but I'm just saying. The, yeah. The gold and the cast strength were. They were the stars. They're both stars. Yep. If you get a chance to get them, and, and like you're like, oh, man, 150, 180 for gold, yeah. do it. Just, just do, do it, it once in your life because <laughs> yeah, don't if, pass you're, those right, if you get a chance to do that for under $200, you should definitely do it because they're worth it. So I'm, Scott and I have always put a, a hard 150. 150 is my. Was our, was our ceiling on what we got for most stuff. But, and that's why we're friends with you guys. Right. <laughs> that's right. I right. don't have a ceiling. But it's nice to be able to sit, have some great people, some great bourbons, and just a great time. And, you know, just express yourself a little bit about what you feel each bourbon brings to the table. Well, I actually right. just heard about this podcast, and I was so desperate to get on it that I went and spent fourteen hundred dollars on four bottles. Well, Joey doesn't realize he had to spend. He had to give everyone two hundred to get on here too. Yeah, exactly. So, so I, did, the, um, I just wanted friends more than anything. On <laughs> <laughs> so I want to put out a challenge. Okay. Oh, so oh, when oh. we walked in, there was this young lady working out downstairs <laughs> in the cold <laughs> right. at about <laughs> two fifteen. She was there when I came in at, at one four o'clock. She was still working out. We're going to go down and check on her. Yeah, we're going to check on her. It's 5 o'clock. We're going to go down and check right now. Us. So, but if she's out working out excuse me, man, and she's willing to come up and better. taste bourbons, <laughs> yes, we're coming back. Right. We'll come back on the air if she comes up here. Right. But other than that, the episode's over. <laughs> Please. And we want to thank Ed and Scott, Whiskey Tangent, for having us. Thank you. Amazing time. Amazing friends. And you go to the local guys. It's just a spectacular place. I can guarantee if you've never been there and you come to the locker side and you talk to any locker owner with some kind of whiskey, bourbon, scotch, or whatever you drink, they will offer you a pour. Absolutely. Right. Doug, did you, give me, did you give me a Middleton Rare? Was that I you? I did. Yeah. Yeah. I had a bottle met, of Middleton Rare. The first rare. time I met Doug, he gave me a pour of Middleton Rare, which is like yeah. a $200 bottle. And I'm, he's like, here, try Fantastic. this. I'm like, it's still the only time I've ever drank Middleton Rare because I'm just such a cheap bastard. But <laughs> it was it's the best Irish whiskey I ever had. So like Doug's always in my heart. Like Doug's the guy that gave me the Middleton Rare. <laughs> right, right. And then it just builds from there. We have a friendship now. We would like to thank Joey so much for the Bland's expressions. Thanks, hey, Joey. Glad to be here, guys. And Doug, for everything we're about to drink now. Pleasure. For the Whiskey Tangent Podcast, I'm Ed. I'm Scott. Cheers, everybody. Have a great day.